What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you another edition of Film Session with the Czar, where we like to say, the eye in the sky doesn't lie. And today we're going to break down the game of 2015 NFL Draft hopeful quarterback Mark Myers of John Carroll. Let's take a look at Mark Myers' profile out of John Carroll, 6'4", 220 pounds. I compare his game to Joe Flacco of the Baltimore Ravens, and I've graded him out as a six-round prospect. Now, when you look at his collegiate career, he is first in school history in passing touchdowns with 94, first in passing efficiency, and first in passing yards per game. Over his career, he has thrown for over 9,500 yards, 94 touchdowns, and this past season was his best season yet, 41 touchdowns to only four interceptions, and he's a guy that has gotten better each and every season and he put it all together this year as a senior. The first thing about Myers' game that stood out to me was how well he operated off of play action. John Cowell ran a pro-style offense which requires the quarterback to off of play action turn his back to the defense, reset his eyes, and make an accurate throw. A lot of quarterbacks nowadays struggle with this simple exercise because of their offensive attack. And you can tell that not only was Myers well coached in college, but was more than prepared for the pro game, even coming from a Division III program. Everything is perfect from the action, the footwork, and also the setup and throw. This is a textbook showing for Myers. Next, I want to look at Myers' mobility within the pocket, and for a guy his size at 6'4", 220, he has very underrated pocket movement and athleticism. You can see a little Joe Montana-like movement to evade pressure, step up, and throw an accurate pass for the touchdown. Here versus Mount Union, you'll see Myers drop back, slide up, and escape, staying parallel to the line of scrimmage, keeping his eyes downfield, and making the throw to move the sticks. That's a hell of a job, and again, that's what you have to do consistently to have success as a pro. Evaluating the arm of Mark Myers, you can see that he has a cannon. His throwing motion is both smooth and effortless. The ball just flies out of his hands, and I actually think as a pro, it can get even stronger. This example versus Ohio Northern is exactly what you look for as an evaluator. A far hash throw to the bottom of the numbers on the opposite side of the field, and it hits the receiver in stride perfectly. You can go ahead on and check off that box for Myers. Another impressive element of Myers' game is the impeccable timing he has when throwing the football. That tells you he's done a great job pre-snap and understanding what the defense is giving him. He's being very decisive as well as the ball comes out on time, and once he reaches the top of his drop, it's out of his hands. Whether it's a three-step, five-step, or even seven-step drop, Myers' timing and decisiveness allows for him to be consistently accurate while also being able to keep proper mechanics and throw with the appropriate velocity and touch. The downside for a lot of quarterbacks with strong arms is that everything tends to be a fastball or flat line. That's not the case with Mark Myers, who can also throw a tremendous touch. First example here versus Ohio Northern, you can see coming off the play action, Myers puts the right arc on the pass and drops it perfectly in the hands of the wide receiver who then drops it. That should have been a touchdown. That's another far hash opposite side of the field throw as well. And here versus Wheaton, a beautiful bucket throw on the corner route in between two defenders. That should have been a big gain for the Blue Streaks. Now later on in the same game, a great display of both touch and arm strength for Mark Myers for this big gain over the middle of the field. So, so far you're seeing a ton of positive and transferable traits coming from Myers. Some areas of improvement for Myers' game comes when he's being pressured. You saw this a lot on film, him trusting his arm when he should have taken a sack or just threw it away. That's a bad habit you hope he leaves in Ohio as he moves forward in becoming a professional. Also, I know I just made the case for him being great with timing and decisiveness, but at times, that can lead to predetermined throws, and that's exactly what happened here versus Mount Union, which ended up being intercepted. Had he waited a half a second longer, he had a guy clearing over the middle of the field. The safety was locked in on his eyes and vacated the area. Instead, that safety ends up making the play. Spinning it back to the positive side and wrapping up this film session segment, you saw a lot of transferable traits and pro-ready game for Mark Myers, who transferred from Pitt and ended up getting great positional and schematic coaching at John Carroll, which has him more than prepared to have sustained success as a pro.